And China has been involved in the Special Olympics for 30 years. And today, the organization held a special event for kindergarten students in town, the first it has ever held in China. Sun Caiqing was there. Disabled children from the Pudong Love Kindergarten were teamed up with kids from the China Welfare Institute Nursery for a day of fun and games. And the parents were invited to join the fun. I want to let my child know that there are some other different children in the world. It will teach him how to take care of the others. Actually, teachers don't have to act that different when they teach special kids, because giving them respect is important. I believe those kids are capable to experience the same things as normal children. Organizers say intellectually disabled children can develop pride and social skills by playing games with other kids, and it helps family members and supporters to see the children's abilities, not the disabilities. Well, three percent of the population, world's population, has、uh, some degree of intellectual disability, and in China,、uh, the number is huge. So,、uh, if we don't start with younger age, we will have a huge society issue in the future. We feel the first step we need to take is really to change attitude. Stigma is something we are trying to fight for. Many special children's parents send their kids to private institutions to study because there are not many state-owned welfare kindergartens for special kids in China, and there's a long waiting list to get in. But the time for the kids is very precious, so we had to choose private institutions, although it's really expensive. Shanghai currently has around 10 kindergartens for special children. And there are around 10,000 children with intellectual disabilities in the city. Sun Caixin, Shanghai Life.